Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your collective reading. I hope that you're surviving this week. Ooh, Scorpio season is doing it. She's doing it. Really clearing up house. It's been crazy by me. I hope it's been less crazy by you. Okay, Cancer. So collective reading, listen for the messages that resonate for you and with you. Don't force any messages that don't belong to you. Leave it for somebody else who needs it. Remember that Remember that there's no gender in tarot. It's feminine and masculine energy. Give the cards a few weeks to play out if you need to. Look for numbers, signs, and patterns that... Damn, Cancer. That means something to you. What the heck was that? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. That just came out for Pisces, too. Heartbreak, disappointment, something. Ooh, thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael, for helping me pull cards for Pisces. What? Pisces, sorry, Cancer. What insights does Cancer need? Whoa. Okay, sexy. Do you know what's crazy? Pisces just had eight of swords in the center anchor card position. And you have nine of swords in the anchored card position. My water people. Most of my best friends are Cancers. <laughs> like off the top, top of my head, I have four close, close, close girlfriends who are Cancers. Let's see. This is, I can't wait to read this. But this is juice, 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 juice. Oh my God, flying cards. <clears throat> juicy juicy okay. two more for cancer please thank you spirit Ooh. too many that was the moon though that's your card cancer Oof, too many high priestess though she keeps coming out one more Thank you, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. There she is. <laughs> Not laughing at your pain. I, I, I empathize. I get it. Damn. All right. I'm partnering that with that because she did flip too. All right. Oh my goodness, judgment at the bottom. Ooh, that's like a um, soul contract, right? Judgment call, a calling, you're being awakened, you're having a level of spiritual awakening or new, you might be leveling up in your spiritual awakening, you know, like is in tears, scaffolded. You might be leveling up right now during Scorpio season. Um, today's November 1st, so this might, this is a big month for you. And it's card 20, right? So it's two tens. Tens in row are endings. Cycles ending. This is double whammy. Like a boom. A big, big, big ending. You're being caught. Like these. Look at the picture. They're waking. They're being awakened from the dead. These are coffins that they were in. They're gray because they were dead. So it's like you may have been stuck in the matrix. And maybe you're like being awakened for the first time. Or you are realizing some bullshit around you, whether it's mindset or cycles or not receiving what you want or need, and you're being awakened to it and you need to make a judgment call. Or maybe you're literally experiencing a calling, like a career life path calling right now. Damn. In lightning speed. Okay. All right, Cancer, beautiful energy up top. We're opening up with the Six of Cups. This is beautiful, sweet, loving, nurturing energy. This could be in regards to love. It would be soulmate energy or past life love. Uh, this also could be someone from your past or just um, someone that allows you to experience love in the pure, like, innocent, 
way we did when we were younger where it's like very exciting and very sweet and like you you know look he's handing her flowers like that traditional like yummy stuff that sometimes gets shit on now because people are like I don't know I don't know what people are like I don't know people anymore okay so we have the six of cups this is beautiful energy this is love this is support this could also be teamwork or, fr or friendship dynamics like being really nurturing and filling all your cups all the cups are full of flowers that's beautiful then we have eight of pentacles um you're like really fine-tuning a craft there's something that you're doing at work or something in regards to a passion project or talent or skill of yours you're you are you are the master of your craft you've nailed it you've got the process down you are so focused and dedicated the the collection or portfolio that you have speaks for itself and it looks like you're like you true you're in a oh, i can't speak on a roll right now you're on a mission like there's no end in sight it's like as you are completing one, oh, there's another like re queued up, ready to go for you. And then we have Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is interesting. Walking away from something that no longer serves us. This is also Eclipse energy up here. This is the only card in the Tarot deck with an Eclipse depicted. And we just had that um, New Moon Eclipse in Scorpio, which was chaotic to say the least. And then we have a Full Moon Eclipse in Taurus uh november 8th next week next week oh my god okay is that right next week yeah literally a week from today okay so you're what you <clears throat> maybe you walked away from a couple okay some of you are currently walking away from an old work situation that was once fulfilling maybe it's not anymore you could be walking away from a partnership a col collaboration a friendship or a romantic partnership with so with someone through work or through work ventures it could be volunteer efforts anything organized where like you are reporting to a subordinate for somebody like part of a greater team you could be walking away from that or you could be in this beautiful energy because you walked away from something but there is some like leaving some endings happening or happened okay let's go a little deeper we have the queen of wands you are magnetic right now cancer this is fire hot energy you are a magnet people are noticing you you might have a glow about you um the black cat here symbolizes your journey to go within black cats used to get a very bad rap um in terms of superstitions and at the time when the, these tarot cards were made it was like very edgy to to be pictured with a black cat it's like associated with like the negative connotations and stigmas around witchcraft um so for this to be depicted in a positive way is like you show up and you wow people people are wowed by you it might be how you look. You might have really long, beautiful hair. You might have a, a very, very apparent glow. You walk in a room and people are like, oh my gosh, that person is like great. I can't take my eyes off of that person. And sometimes you can't even put a finger on it, right? Sometimes you're like, I don't know why I can't. It's just the combination of all the things. That's you. You are the sunflower in a room. It is you lean towards the sun, you glow like the sun, you are fire energy, you are sexy, attractive, and like you don't have a fuck to give, to be honest with you. You don't have a fuck to give because you're good. If you're good, then there's nothing that can impact your energy here. But for some reason, we have anxiety at the center anchor card. What's keeping you up at night? What are you worried about? Are you are you worried? <clears throat> Do you feel like you have to leave a situation and you're worried about it? Um, a work situation? I, this doesn't seem like just love, though, because there's eight of pentacles here. Maybe it's somebody you have been in a relationship with and you put in, like, some dedicated focus so you feel bad walking away. But again, could be work, though. Because we have ten of pentacles here. This is, like, bada-bing energy. you got money in the bank. This is having it all stability good place to live like food on the table 
Maybe you have a partner, maybe you have kids, maybe you have all those things and dogs, maybe, you know, maybe grandpa Joe lives there too. I don't know. But this is like, whatever everything is, this is in your energy. So like, what is this? This is very similar to Pisces reading. Then we have three of cups celebrating. This is also the goddesses of fate, destiny. Eight of swords. You don't believe you deserve it. You don't believe you deserve all this? Or you don't think it's going to last? Or it doesn't fulfill you? But this is doubt, though. You don't need this energy. You don't need doubt. This is like, this is what I said to Pisces. <clears throat> this is like the bullshit card. This is spirit calling bullshit on you. <laughs> on us. This is um, facade energy. The facade being this is supposed to mimic the appearance of life behind bars or a cage, right? But it's bullshit. It's not a cage. This is cloth that this person is wrapped in. They can wiggle the fuck out, right? If a, if a baby can get out somehow of their clothes, like at any given moment, this grown adult can wiggle their way out of this like bounty paper towel wrapping right and when they do that they'll be able to see clearly they won't be blindfolded anymore and when they see clearly they'll realize oh those aren't prison bars i was near those are swords in the ground and she can or he can walk away take them out of the ground so that other people don't think that there's a prison there i don't know or take them with her to protect her but she doesn't in, in what world would she stay stuck though if she just took the blindfold off you got to take the blindfold off whatever is holding you back that self-limiting belief it's coming up now in scorpio season for you to address and there is some kind of internal tower that you're going you're going to experience i think around this so the tower <clears throat> comes in when the universe or is like nope we're wiping this clean like this cannot be here anymore right in reverse, though, this is an internal cleanup on aisle two. So this anxiety and self-limiting beliefs, imposter syndrome, feeling like you can't do it, that's going to come to a crashing ending, which is beautiful. That's probably what's going to bring you here. Yep. And then the end of the conflict, five of wands in reverse. Um, and from there... Oh, my ears are ringing now. Damn. Okay. And then from this internal cleanup, then you can start over and patiently wait for your ships to sail in to wherever it is that you want or need to go. Where are you going though, Cancer? What's going on? So if there was a message in here that resonated with you, one, if there was one, can you hit the like button right now? If there was more than one, can you hit the like button and please let me know in the comments by introducing yourself, telling me where you're from, or, you know, I don't know. I love emojis, whatever, you, you know, throw, throw a crab in, in there. I don't know. But, um, the reason being, I'm trying to, I want to connect with your energies and the way I can read better for you if I'm connecting with your energy. And that way the readings will become more and more directed towards the energies interacting and engaging with the video. And then that will help the algorithm get this message out to other cancers who also might be experiencing one or more of these messages. If there's anything that you want to share that resonated from here, I would actually love to hear that. No pressure though. It's like, I know sometimes it's personal, but I would love to hear what is resonating and what's not. All right, cancer. I love you guys. I'll see you later.